Hi everyone. This is the PTR4 controller. In this controller, we have, as you see, four relays marked as uh, RL1, RL2, RL3, and RL4. And the setting buttons marked as left, right, plus, minus, and OK in one button. The good thing about it and why I like it, I found that it's easy to program, good size display, plus you can set up your relay individual and if you want to control all of them as a one group with just one trigger. To set up your relay timing, just press left or right for one second. Remember, one second. And you can move between settings by just pressing left or right. Just move to the number front of RL and press plus or minus. Choose your relay mode or status, open or close, just press plus or minus. To choose your timing in second or in minute. From here you can change it by pressing plus or minus. Here is the loop number, 0, 0, 0, 0. Don't forget to set up your loop number because 0, 0, 0 is loop for all time. This setup is for all time. There are another setting as well. By pressing left or right for three seconds, remember three seconds, you have access to new layer of setting as you see. I am going to talk about running mode and here you can choose the way you want your relay to work, individual or in group. It's normal and after that I will move to a group mode. Yeah, normal setup. Let me just go to setup by pressing this one for one second. So relay one is on for 15 se sorry, not 15 seconds. This is 1.5 second for time of zero for loop one. Now, let's uh, exit the setting. And I forget to talk about how to exit the setting again by left or right, keep pressing until you exit. Now I am out. Now I'm going to trigger relay one. Green is for relay one. And as you see, it works for 1.5 a second and off again. This is the normal setting. Now, let us see relay number two. Okay, here in relay number, we have to change to number two. As I said, we move by right and left. And from here, we press plus, and this is relay number two. I set it up for off timing of 20 seconds, and after the 20 seconds, it's gonna go on for 15 seconds for one loop. Okay, let's exit. Okay, now, black, or this red light is for the relay number two. Let us trigger it. You see the timing is moving. Again. All right. Let us change all the setting by pressing three seconds in here and go to the running mode by right and left and press OK. Move from OK by right and left and change the setting here. And the setting here it's loop one, which means when I give one order, it's gonna just take one order, each press, and it's gonna work between relay one and relay two, and it's gonna keep the setting which I already set it up for relay one and relay two. And the time difference between switching between relay one and relay two is one of the tenth of the second. Let's go to okay by moving right and left. This is okay, press okay go to number i think seven back press okay now if i press this one nothing gonna happen when i trigger relay one 
both relay one and relay two gonna work based on the setting I have uh, I have made already. So this is gonna be 14 seconds, and this after 20 seconds gonna go on, and job done. And this is why I bought this relay because I don't have to do all new wiring or anything else, and I can control with the rest of the relays with one trigger. I can control all of them. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video.